Hey everybody and welcome to my channel. I'm here doing your Twin Flame channel messages for January 2019. <clears throat> I can't believe I'm saying 2019. It's just crazy. But um, this is for all Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine who feel they are in the Twin Flame soulmate journey. So um, for a large group of you, um, you are moving into the space of leaving where you've been, leaving it behind, closing the door to the past and deciding whether you are going to move forward and leave this relationship completely or whether you are going to um, continue to move forward but leave an open vessel for that connection to rekindle. Um, either way is very positive. Uh, the lesson of the month is just to, of the journey actually, is just to never be left in a space of pause. Never let yourself become so, um, so complacent of waiting that you become stagnant yourself because that's not doing you or your twin any um, justice. So uh, a lot of you are realizing that, which is amazing and beautiful and so liberating all at the same time. Um, for some of you, you guys are just amping up, uh, waiting for this, uh, waiting for this energy shift, um, because you're starting to feel the shift in the journey. You're starting to feel those new feelings, thinking in a different way, seeing the connection for what it is and not what you hoped it would be. Um, realizing that your twin isn't isn't what makes you whole, isn't what makes you complete, that you are one beautiful being that provides one complete person meeting their complete person. And then the two holes intertwine into one, one soul again. So, um, you're realizing that you don't need that twin to make you happy. You don't need that person to make you feel complete, to make you feel worthy. Um, you're finding that within yourself. You're growing spiritually. You're growing emotionally, mentally. Um, you're just really finding yourself in this journey. Um, in the beginning, we come together. It's amazing. It's great. Uh, we feel that intense connection. We feel that intense bond. And then we are separated and left to um, fix the holes that are that that twin left gaping open when they took off. The point of the first coming together is to remember what it feels like being with this person, to remember how intense and how beautiful and how amazing love can be and how that love can change the world for the better. But it's also meant to come apart. And when that twin takes off, when that twin leaves, it leaves us open all the wounds that need to be healed in order to feel that because before that twin will come back, they may bounce back and forth. They may come in and out of our lives, but until that twin can come back and we can be in union as one together whole for the rest of our time, we have to feel that feeling, that intense love, that intense connection to source, that intense whole feeling on our own. And in order to do that, we have to fix those wounds, those scars that are left gaping when our twin leaves. When we can figure out how to heal those scars, how to find the joy in life, the love in life, um, the, the joy and pride and love within ourselves and make ourselves feel that happy, feel that great. And we're ready to move on without them because, hey, we realize we can feel this amazing without that person. That is when our twin comes back because they are doing the exact same thing that you are doing and healing themselves so we can be those complete whole people that come together. And when the two holes come together, they intertwine and make one. So um, a lot of people don't understand that um, our twin can't come back until we look within, we fix those spots that um, are are we are leaving open either consciously or subconsciously. Um, that is the point in them coming together just to leave because we had buried them for so long, so deep, you know, underneath ourselves that we forgot they existed. We worked very hard over time, many lifetimes 
to hide those wounds so we didn't have to feel them anymore. So when our twin comes in, that opens them all up for us and allows us to view them, feel them, um, you know, cry them out so we can um, then fix them, heal them and move forward. A lot of you are feeling that shift. A lot of you have done the dirty work, have dug in deep, went within and healed. And now you're ready to move forward and move on without that twin, with or without that twin. You are to the spot where union is about to happen. And that is so exciting because union is about to happen for so many of you in January. So amazing. Um, the last year has opened up the deepest uh, portion in the darkest places of our soul. It is meant to. This was this needed to happen in order for your twin to come back. It um it it forced us to deal with abandonment issues we had of our past. It forced us to deal with that um the uh self doubt. It forced us to deal with us not loving ourselves enough to um to move forward. So this it really um. This eclipse season we have coming up, which is super, super exciting. We have a lunar and solar eclipse coming up. And this energy of that um, eclipse season, it's going to uh, put an end to the past. It's going to... Uh, oh, what is the word I'm looking for? It's going to... Uh, allow you to move forward out of this energy that has us doubting the journey, has us doubting um, why we have been holding out for so long, why we have been working so hard. There's a lot of us that are a lot of twins that are feeling the doubt right now. They're like, well, oh my gosh, for the last two years, I swore this was my twin, but now nothing's happening. So maybe I was wrong. Or some of the twins have just recently returned only to leave again because they weren't completely healed. And so now you're like, well, I've done all this work. I've worked very hard. I've, I'm healed. And they just took off again. That's because they weren't fully healed. Um, it's, it's part of the cycles of the twin flame journey. Uh, but with this eclipse season, you're going to be able to leave that behind and move forward. But only you can choose to do that. Um, you have two ways of moving forward and that is either closing the door completely to that twin flame connection um, or leaving the door open, but no longer waiting. Like I said, so, um, but it's really the point where people move to the path of purpose. You are now moving into your path, why you're here, what you're meant to be doing. Why is this journey so important? You are finding and moving towards your path of purpose, your soul's purpose. And um, you are returning to a place of crystal clear vision. You are eliminating the doubt. You are eliminating the um, self-sabotaging thoughts. Because you're now to a point where you know you're good with them or without them. So um, at worst case scenario, they brought you to the best and greatest person that you have ever been because without them coming in and leaving again, without this whole twin flame um, connection that you've had up to this point, without that, you wouldn't have healed those hurts. You wouldn't have healed the years and lifetimes of um, deep down scars that were hidden. So really, we need to thank our twins for the hurt. We need to thank them for putting us through this because at the end of the day, look at the amazing being you have turned into be. You have healed and are now the best and greatest version of yourselves. So that is something to be very thankful for. Um, you're now coming to a space where you know who you are. You know what you want. You want peace, happiness, harmony, alignment with the greatest version of you. And that is so exciting. This, I'm so excited for this eclipse season. Um, let go of what's holding you back, even if that's your twin flame. And I know that's going to be very hard for some of you, but I promise you that will only help them return to you quicker. Let go of whatever is holding you back, no matter who, what, when, where, or why. It's just time to move in your path, in your path of purpose, 
If you're feeling stuck, look at what you need to release. It's so important during this eclipse season to take advantage of this. Um, decide who you're going to trust with your feelings and allow yourself to feel your way home because the path that leads us home is never, never seen by sight ever. So decide who you're going to trust your feelings with. Who are you going to give your heart to and then feel your way home? Trust your heart. I've said it many times before and I will say it many times again. Your heart will never lead you to the wrong place as long as you feel it or you feel it and move in that feeling. Um, you're realizing you need no external validation to find yourself, to find the truth, to find your way of life. Um, and that's very liberating for you as well. It's you're leading up to a shift, a major shift paradigm shift for you guys. And I'm so excited to bring you this message because this is a game changer. Like this, uh, eclipse season in January is so amazing and so powerful that you're either going to move into union with your twin flame, or you're going to move into a position of greatness that you've never been to in your life before. So either way, you're either coming into union or you're preparing for union because your twin will always find their way back to you. Um, but if they're not ready, then you can still move on with greatness and they will catch up to you um, on your path. Uh, your um, To heal your heart for any... Um, for any hurts that you haven't been able to deal with, you really need to um, nurture your happiness. You need to decide to figure out whatever you have to do to know what makes you happy. And whatever doesn't make you happy, leave it behind. Leave it behind in 2018. That's why I'm releasing this message um, about a week and a half, two weeks early, because you need to know how to nurture your happiness. You need to know what makes you happy before you can make you happy. And that's going to be a very liberating thing. So um, once you realize that happiness can only be found inside and you realize what it is that makes you happy, it's going to come to you so much easier. And in turn, your twin will return that much quicker. So um, it's just, it's so... Um, important to take advantage of this eclipse season. I will be posting a video in the future about how to uh, take advantage of this uh, lunar and solar eclipse that are coming towards us. Um, so be watching for that because uh, it's going to be a very, very big um, ritual that is going to help usher in the unions that you have worked so hard for to usher in that happiness that you have been um, working so hard to gain, and it's really going to allow you to find your path home, to find your path of where your soul's purpose is, and to find your soul's purpose with your twin. So be watching for that. I want to thank you so very much for taking the time to view this video. I send you healing, love, light, and God bless.